first, I'd like to take you through the sensor module that's included with the FLS 110 V6 evaluation kit. You can see that the sensor module PCB is really quite small. And on this side of the board, it's dominated by this box header connector here, which allows you to easily connect this sensor module either to your application electronics or directly to the USB to I2C adapter provided with the evaluation kit so you can plug the sensor directly into your laptop and start making flow readings. You can see also that there's a small microcontroller on this side of the board. This is an STM32 Cortex-M0 core microcontroller, and it's responsible not only for driving the FLS110 sensor, but also reading the analog signals from the sensor and performing all the calculations necessary to convert those signals into a fully temperature and pressure compensated flow, differential pressure, or airspeed measurement. If we turn the PCB over and look at the other side, you can see that we have two components on the other side of the board. The first component is the FLS 110 itself. It's 3.5 by 3.5 millimeters, so it's absolutely tiny. And you can see two small ports on the top of the FLS 110. This is how the FLS 110 interfaces with your flow path. And a small amount of air passes between those two ports and allows the sensor to make a very accurate measurement of mass flow, volume flow, differential pressure, or airspeed. This second component is a standard pressure sensor from ST Micro. And this pressure sensor can be optionally used to pressure compensate the flow reading for applications where you might expect a very large variation in the pressure in the flow path. For example, in a drone application where you might be operating the drone over a wide range of different altitudes and you need the absolute most accurate airspeed measurement that you can get, a pressure sensor can be used to pressure compensate the reading to achieve the best possible accuracy. For drone airspeed applications, we provide this adapter that converts the FLS 110 interface, those two small ports there, into two slightly larger barb connections to easily be able to connect to something like a pitot tube. When you order your evaluation kit, your FLS 110 sensor module will come pre-installed on this flow fixture. So I'm going to put the sensor module on here now. Once the FLS 110 flow sensing module is installed on the adapter, it's very easy to connect it directly to a pitot tube. So this is a typical pitot tube that you might expect to see for a drone application. You can see that it's got some pressure tappings at the tip here, and it's also got some pressure tappings around the circumference of the pitot tube here. Now you're going to want to connect the tapping that goes to the tip of the pitot tube to the upstream port of the FLS 110. And you're going to want to connect the pressure tapping that goes to the circumference to the downstream port of the FLS 110. And so hopefully there you can see that I've connected it in that way. And the flow in the system is going to flow from the tip of the pitot tube down to the FLS 110, and then back to the pitot tube, and then out the pressure tappings on the circumference. And that's going to be the direction of flow. The final stage of installing the FLS 110 into a drone is connecting it to the drone electronics. I'm just going to show you an example of how I've done it here. So here is the flight controller of the drone. And this flight controller will have a 3.3 volt supply, a ground supply, as well as the I squared C SDA SCL lines. And what I've done is I've stripped back some of the insulation from this FLS 110 um, box header cable and I've soldered those wires onto the appropriate pins. So I've connected 3.3 volts ground 
and the two I squared C lines, data and clock. And then all I have to do to connect my FLS 110 to the flight controller is plug in this box header here. And there you have the whole system. You have the FLS 110 V6 Evaluation Kit Sensor Module connected to the flight controller of the drone that's just here. And then the fluidic connection of the FLS 110 is connected to the pitot tube, which you mount into the drone. And with this configuration, it's very easy to measure airspeed accurately with the FLS 110.